In this video, we are going to talk about why fuzz face circuits and guitar pedals that use fuzz face topology, like the one knob fuzz, don't typically like buffers being placed before them in a signal chain. First off, there are a lot of people out there that think that the low impedance of a fuzz face is what makes it incompatible with a buffer. Well, there's a little truth to that, but that's really not the whole picture and by itself is kind of misleading. So why does a buffer before a fuzz face not seem to work? Here we have a schematic for an NPN silicon fuzz face. When you really look at it, you might notice that you could interpret it as a very crude, discrete inverting op amp. Our 100k feedback resistor in our fuzz face now becomes our 100k resistor in our inverting op amp's feedback loop. However, where's the other resistor that we need to calculate gain for our inverting op amp? Well, in the case of this pseudo fuzz face, assuming it is the first pedal in our chain, the resistance is the combined resistance of the guitar pickup and the little bit that is from the guitar cable itself. So if you got an average bridge pickup, that's the resistor that we're going to be looking for. So if we have a guitar pickup acting as our input resistor of 10k with the negative feedback resistor of 100k, this inverting op amp's gain can be calculated as 100k over 10k equals a gain of 10. So what happens when we place a buffer behind the fuzz face? Well, now we no longer have that 10k guitar pickup as our input series resistor. It will now be replaced with an output impedance of our buffer that we're going to put behind our fuzz face. With buffers, depending on the topology, its output impedance can be anywhere from a few kilo ohms all the way down to a couple of tens of ohms. A good chunk of buffers, though, are around 100 ohms, sometimes a little lower. So imagine we replace our 10k guitar pickup in series resistor with a 100 ohm resistor, simulating the output impedance of the buffer behind the fuzz face. Well, here's where our problem occurs. Remember how we calculate the gain of an inverting op amp? Well, now that the input resistor is only 100 ohms, the math will be 100k over 100 equals a gain of 1000. At gains this high in a single gain stage, you are likely to have passed the maximum gain of the transistor in question, and things like oscillation start to occur. Like in real op amps, when at very high values of gain, this excessive gain starts to fall at increasing frequencies. So trying to get too much gain out of a single stage like this creates frequency response problems, which in turn can cause your sound to come out very thin or to have very dramatic volume drops. Now imagine this buffer output resistor even being lower and causing the gain out of this to being even more ludicrous. So there you go. A buffered input equals max gain, which in turn means the fuzz face will go nuts. But with the guitar pickup as its input, you'll get a lower gain, which equals fuzz heaven. Now, some other fuzz circuit topologies with low input impedance, like the Big Muff Pi, get around these issues because it has an input series resistor that limits the gain on each individual stage but provides that extra bit of resistance going into the transistor. Because of these resistors, each stage of the Big Muff Pi only has a limited amount of gain, but because there are four gain stages going back to back to back to back, the total gain adds up, although at the cost of having more components than what the fuzz face has. So can we fix this with our fuzz face pedal? Well, yes and no. We could take a page from the Big Muff Pi and add a 39k in-series input resistor, but this will now create an RC filter that we may not want to deal with, causing some frequency response issues. And this is also going to cause a drop in the total gain on the fuzz face, which will pretty much bring the gain down a lot. Remember, the Big Muff Pi can get away with this because it's amplifying the signal over and over again, four times in a row. The fuzz face here really only does this once. So, what other ways can we do to better the situation? Well, a resistor does emulate a property of a guitar pickup, but it doesn't emulate the whole picture. A better way to do this is to use a full resistor inductor capacitor network, also known as an RLC, to simulate the guitar pickup. Using a small transformer like this Zycom 42TL019, link in the description below, a 1K resistor and a 1 nanofarad film capacitor, this circuit will simulate a guitar pickup enough that a buffer going behind this whole circuit shouldn't cause a problem with the fuzz face. 
When designing their Eruptor fuzz pedal, which uses a fuzz face topology, this transformer circuit is what Earthquaker devices use to resolve this issue. However, with such a circuit between the fuzz face and the buffer, you no longer have the ease and ability to control the fuzz face with the volume knob on your guitar, meaning that you won't be able to make it clean up as well. But these are the trade-offs by putting in these kind of circuits. Anyways, that's all for now. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you wish to support us, head on over to our web store at www.diyguitarpedals.com.au and check out our parts and kits, as that'll help us out a lot. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.